how do I explain it? How do I explain it? Um, they're like waves of blades. Different, uh, I wish I had a picture. Oh, there you go. If you notice over here, a bunch of different blades. We call those the blades. And that's what moves the wind in through the climbing ribbon and into the retail area to make it nice and comfortable for everybody to be in. It's, it's artistic, that's for sure. I mean, just looking at it is very surprising, very, very architectural, very pleasing to look at. Um, but it's got more than just the architectural facet to it. it. It's designed to be able to draw in the ocean breeze. In every city, wherever you're at, all the buildings create a tunnel effect. We're creating a tunnel effect with the, the high rises we have on this project alone, along with the other high rises in the area create this massive tunnel effect and you have wind shooting through all buildings. The blades themselves are like, um, I guess the, the parallel would be the, uh, the wing of an airplane and a big airplane of that. Uh, some of these blades are in excess of 50 feet long, uh, 10 feet deep. They'll follow the flow of the, uh, of the climate ribbon and what they do is they capture the air that's coming, the breeze is coming off of Biscayne Bay and they channel it through the open air areas of the uh, retail component which will allow a cooling breeze so that any heat rises is immediately pulled away and as heat rises is pulled away other air comes across and takes its place and that creates this convective cooling effect and basically cooling down the um, people doing the shopping the shoppers without having a uh, air conditioning system typically on the ends they for the most part pocket up or shoot up which definitely helps with grabbing that wind. And then the orientation and the curves of the blades just allow it to flow where we want it to throughout the retail. When we first looked at the drawings of it, there's obviously a lot of engineering that went uh, to this. Uh, there were wind tunnel tests. And, and also uh, they took into account that uh, Miami, it uh, has issues with hurricanes. So basically the, pro the, the system is beefed up structurally to sustain uh, 180 uh, miles per hour winds. It will be the first time that something like this has been developed and implemented physically in a shopping center. It will be the one and only, once off, and the first in its kind. Well, its primary function, of course, is, uh, and by design, is to shade the concourse. And then on a rainy day, it shields the entire complex from rain. And then that rain is collected by the climate ribbon and channeled to large cistern tanks or large holding tanks. But we're collecting all that water and we're using, we're reusing that water for uh, landscaping, irrigation. And to be used to, to feed uh, some of the AC system, actually all of the AC systems in the, in the project. We're capturing the water, reusing it, and that's, it's an estimated three million gallons of water expected a year which is a huge number. Environmental sustainability is a core value of AmeriCaribe and of Buig, our, our parent company. We're always looking at sustainable measures that we can implement on a project. We always try to have the most up-to-date ways of construction, the most the best products out there right now. The great thing about AmeriCaribe is that we have a network of global procurement sources. So whatever we can find locally or within the U.S., we can tap into our global resources. I mean, they have so many people. They're so talented in so many different aspects of construction. It's first of its kind, um, a challenging um, project, and it's something that America Reap does like, to do something new uh, and to show to the client and to the owners and to the public that yes, we can take on a challenge, something that has not been done before, something that's special and um, find a way to make it succeed.